always when playing I'm trying to reach deep go deep inside and like, well, I don't know what that means or I don't know how to go about it many times but I know that the music is locked in a part that's, that's larger and deeper than my petty little needs. extraordinary performances I've seen and I felt like he was almost levitating off the stage and he was like on fire. His hair was just all over and he was like rising up. But I was seeing pictures going way back to an ancient time. I, ha I had this vision like of uh, the bonfire. I feel like I hear my genetic echo through the music. It's the country of my soul. I mean, I've always loved the, the poetry and the literature. The music, it's not about me, really. Like, the music is the feeling that you experience. See, sometimes people like come to hear music and they go, oh, I don't understand it, you know, and maybe there's something I need to know about this, and I don't know enough about it yet. And yet, it left to their own devices, like without trying to analyze it at all, would most likely pick up on the feeling of it. So for me, like, spirituality and music were never, like, well, I didn't see the connection maybe when I was younger, but now for me, they're inseparable. The effort that I would put into music now would not primarily be on the fingerboard of the fiddler with the bow. It would be in my daily life and, and how I view life and what I would, where, where I would see myself headed as a person. Um, I, I always consider um, the, the, the actual moment of, of the creation of music to like be the most important part. Like, I mean, live music in a live situation, I always consider more important than recorded music. And would, would, see, would see myself as more of a, a performance artist than a recording artist, for sure. But recording I found useful in that it, it's, it's something to work towards. Um, it's a goal, it's an objective. I'm just going to set it up like I would because I want to record a bit of music with my father. The mini disc is nice because you get random access. It's not quite as, I don't think it's as clean sounding as that. Um, 
we, we, we set this up all the time, like when we're traveling. If we're ever in a B and B or a hotel for two days, we'll definitely set it up, you know. like great jazz music in some ways. It's, it's, it's improvised on a theme. It's improvised on a pattern which is there already. There's something learned from, uh, from that kind of music, from that kind of jazz in the way that they play. Uh, the way that, for instance, the way they'll, they'll go from one reel into another. What's a reel? Um, a is a 4-4 four, four piece of uh, Irish music, which is very, very common. Um, I, 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 how can I define it? The reel is a, is a, is a dance in 4-4 four, four, as opposed to jig, which is a piece of music on a dance in 6-8. Mm -hmm. That's the best. I was told they were called reels because they're real hard to play. <laughs> <laughs>